A sinkhole is a natural pit or sinkhole resulting from the collapse of limestone bedrock that exposes groundwater. The original term is specifically associated with the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, where sinkholes were commonly used for water supplies by the ancient Mayas and occasionally for sacrificial offerings. The term derives from a word used by the lowland Yucatec Maya, Tonot, to refer to any location with accessible groundwater. Similar rock-sided sinkholes, like sinkholes, are common geological forms in low-altitude regions, particularly on islands, coastlines, and platforms with young post-Paleozoic limestone that have little soil development. In the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico alone, there are at least 6,000 sinkholes in total. Also, the best known sinkholes are large open water pools measuring tens of meters in diameter such as those at Tikin Itza in Mexico. Sino water is often very clear as the water comes from rainwater filtering slowly through the ground and therefore contains very little suspended particulate matter. The groundwater flow rate within a sino may be very slow. In many cases, sinots are areas where sections of cave roof have collapsed, revealing an underlying cave system, and the water flow rates may be much faster, up to 10 km per day. And of course, the Yucatan sinots attract cavern and cave divers who have documented extensive flooded cave systems, some of which have been explored for lengths of 1,500 km or more. In sinots, the flora and the fauna are generally scarcer than in the open ocean. However, marine animals do thrive in caves. In caverns, one can spot mojaras, mollies, guppies, codfish, small eels, and frogs. Moreover, in the most secluded and darker sinotes, the fauna has evolved to resemble those of many cave-dwelling species. For example, many animals don't have pigmentation and they are often blind, so they are equipped with long feelers so that they can find food and make their way around the dark. Generally, the Yucatan Peninsula has almost no rivers and only a few lakes, and those are often marshy. That means that the widely distributed sea nodes are the only perennial source of portable water and have long been the principal sources of water in much of the, religion, the re region. That's precisely why major Maya settlements required access to adequate water supplies and therefore cities, including the famous Tikin Itza, were built around these natural wells. Moreover, some synods like the Sacred Synod in Tikin Itza played an important role in Maya rites. Believing that these pools were gateways to the afterlife, the Maya sometimes threw valuable items into them. In 2001 to 2002, expeditions led by Arturo Aids Gonzalez and Carmen Rojas Sandoval in the Yucatan discovered three human skeletons. One of them, Ivo Naharon, was carbon dated to be 13.600 years old. Then, a few years later, in March 2008, three members of the Proyecto Espeleologico de Tulum and Global Underwater Explorers dive team Alex Alvarez, Franco Atolini, and Alberto Nava explored the section of Sistema Actun Hu, known as the Pit Hoyo Negro. At a depth of 57 meters, the divers located the remains of a mastodon and a human skull that might be the oldest evidence of human habitation in the region. The discovery of golden sacrificial artifacts in some synods led to the archaeological exploration of most synods in the first part of the 20th century. Edward Herbert Thompson, an American diplomat who had bought the Tikin Itza site, began dredging the sacred synod there in 1904. He discovered human skeletons and sacrificial objects confirming a local legend, the cult of the synod, involving human sacrifice to the rain god Tuck by ritual casting of victims and objects into the sino. So, it's pretty obvious that the Mayans thought very highly of these sinos if they used it in so many ways like that. And how could they not? If you ever see them with your very own eyes, you will instantly understand why these sinos are truly one of the most stunning wonders of our planet.